Hey, hey, grab your Estus and become unable to upgrade it because someone killed the Firekeeper. Let's see what that was all about. Black Eye Orb. Invade the world of Murderer Firekeeper. Mystical Orb found on a Keeper's corpse. To defeat the perpetrator and rec reclaim the soul of the Firekeeper. The Black Eye keeps constant watch on the City of the Gods, Anor Orlando. So that'll be our destination then, in search for the culprit, of course. I do like the set though, so yeah. She can... well I... yeah, there we go. You look so comfy. It's got a shawl and all. So yeah. There we go. And in here? What's up, people? And that is the repercussion of it. We can't light the bonfire. Did you ring the second bell? That is incredible, I must say. But now, we have a new problem. It's noisy. It snores. And its breath is lethal. <laughs> this is no laughing matter, I tell you. Excuse me. Damn. That stench. And I was really beginning to like it here. <sighs> Maybe it's time I do something about it. What's he up to? What's pestering him so? What could it be? I have no idea. You got anything to say on the matter? Oh, hello there. You've been a stranger these days. Have I? Why? What? What? What spectacular pyromancy? Tell me about it. I I have never seen anything like it. Could it be talking about our great compassion and other pyromancies found uh, while well, taught by Quailan at Blight Town? And since he's a pyromancer, let's share this information. Surely he's delighted by it. Why, well, yes, of course. Thank you for sharing. I'm still an able pyromancer. I shall locate her myself. I'm in your debt once again. And before he goes, does he have anything we need? Not really. Pyromancy is the art of casting fire. Produce flame, then channel it. Just as our ancestors did. A pyromancer must be in tune with nature herself. My home, the Great Swamp, is an abundant store of nature. You will understand one day. It only takes time. Hmm. Pyromancy has a, well, rather primitive aspect to it. It messes poorly with advanced culture. And pyromancers are considered rather unsavoury. Which is fine, as I never got along with anybody anyway. So, for me, turning undead didn't change a thing. <laughs> what a sweet guy. Anything else? A pyromancer's flame is, is a part of his own body. The flame develops right along with his skill. Oh, sorry. You're a pyromancer yourself. You, you already know this. Actually, that's a str that's that's funny. I didn't remember. If you start out as a pyromancer, he has that bit of dialogue, but it goes differently when you're not. Goodbye then. Be safe, friend. Don't you dare go alone. Oh, you too. We we like this man. If you're not a pyromancer, and he tells you the bit about giving when he gave us the flame, he mentions that he gave up a part of himself. But this is actually a um, massive junction of the game, like. If you choose, well, yeah, it's a bit of an obscure way, and I've, I don't mind kind of spoiling it because I won't be exploring it this playthrough. But if you somehow happen to choose to ignore this guy completely, 100%, don't even talk to him, you can access uh, another, well, uh, how to put it? Well, basically, an NPC with a lot of exposition, which might be considered something of a more true ending maybe. I don't know, it's hard to explain. Let's just say that ignore him and you'll find something later on. But we won't be doing that. Ah, hello. Was it you who rang the Bell of Awakening? I am the Primordial Serpent, King Seeker Frant, close friend of the Great Lord Gwyn, chosen undead, who has rung the Bell of Awakening. I wish to elucidate your fate. Do you seek such enlightenment? It sounds very prophetic, but we did, after all, ring the two bells. 
of the prophecy. So yeah, well, let's let's hear his offers. Very well, then I am pleased to share. Chosen undead, your fate is to succeed the great Lord Gwyn, so that you may link the fire, cast away the dark, and undo the curse of the undead. To this end, you must visit Anor Londo and acquire the Lord Vessel. Happens Anor Londo was where we were heading for since someone killed the Firekeeper. But indeed, it seems there's something at play here, greater forces maybe. We, as a single undead man, well, I shouldn't say single, but yeah, I'm, I didn't mean it that way. I'm, I'm taken. I'm taken. I'm taken. I'm taken. I, I don't, I, I think Flynn wouldn't mind the company, though. He looks a bit lonely. He has that uh, road one look to him. Then again, he's just spent hours in a poison swamp, killing spider women, and now he's to become successor to the Lord of Sunlight. Anything else he has to say on the matter? I am pleased to see you well. Is it something urgent? Tell me more. Those who seek the realm of lords must brave Sen's fortress, a deadly house of traps. Many have gone before you, but none have returned. Fate has chosen you, but proceed with caution. Okay, anything else? Those who no. Sen's Fortress, our next place. And to this guy, Frampt, you can actually feed items. Some of, the, some of them he gives a lot more for, like souls of course. Let's feed him our tongue pies, our atrocious fecal matter. Oh god, I forgot about that noise. Oh fucking hell, it scared the crap out of me. I haven't done anything with Frams in a while, so yeah. Uh, these coins, they have no use, so you can feed them. Here comes the noise again. So scary. Our surplus weapons. Dragon King Kradax, he seems to have a liking to dragon items, so yeah, let's. Not much else we want to give to him. Actually, spare armor, sure. Yeah, I said I don't normally do this, but now I did. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh my god, the groaning. It's just spooky. Bye. Farewell, chosen undead. Yeah. But for now. I think it's time for a tech change. As much as I like the longsword, playing with it is gotten, well not stale, but kind of stale. And this is an area that you want to avoid earlier on in the game because of the damn skeletons. Here they come again. But now, I mean you can clear them at level 1 easily if you have the know-how. Hint hint, blunt weapons and strong attacks. And yeah, let's just see where this leads. We'll not be delving deeper into wherever this place goes to, but there is an item or two I want to pick up in here that I should have actually done way earlier on in the playthrough, I think. Could the frame settle? I have some technical limitation to these recordings, which is potentially why the quality isn't as good as you might expect. I can only record at 70, 720p. Uh, What's it called? Well, yeah, it's basically, it's not as crisp as you might think. So yeah, we picked up the winged spear. We'll do a bit of skeleton killing here. Owie. Let's heal up. Because yeah, the big one's back a, bun back a punch. Oh my goodness, I did that poorly. But he's dead for now. And here, the item I really want to pick up. Swyhander. News to no one. Ger oh, German for two-hander. And in here, binoculars. Let's keep those handy, cause, yeah. They let us see things. And this might not be so much of a progressing episode when it comes to uh, gameplay and stuff, but there's certainly... 
a lot about the lore and I'm yeah as we saw with Frampt's growling I'm seeming to forget yeah prone to forgetting things that tree is the great hollow and down there that is blight town so yeah interconnected and yeah As for the Zweihander, one of the gigantic straight great swords. As the name suggests, the Zweihander is held with two hands, but its wielder must still be inhumanly strong. It is this great weight that sends foes flying when hit solidly. It sadly doesn't send anyone flying, but I have 24 strength for the sake of this. And I do want to retain fast rolling while using this, so I'm afraid I might have to tone down the equipment load. It is a bit of a strange build because with uh, heavy weapons like that, you'd you'd think one would want to use heavy armor as to prevent not being staggered when you get hit. But I do like uh, fairly unconventional builds. Just pick the good-looking ones. <laughs> nope, I'm not about that life. I like the the hard leather boots. Can we actually? Use some gloves with it, like the dingy gloves. Oh, I don't like the dingy ones either. Black leather. Okay, no gloves. But yeah, this is the weapon I want to start upgrading now. And as you can see, the clerics have actually left. So yeah, again with the cutscene um, of the gates opening after we rang the bell near Undead Parish, by Andre's place, where Zygmair was waiting. Still closed as he mused. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Well, that's a thing. <laughs> I, knew, I knew something was up. Oh god, no! <laughs> no! We didn't... Yeah, of course, because Firelink sh Firelink's uh, bonfire was closed because the Firekeeper was dead. Now we're all the way back here. Oh, son of a gun. Goodness me. I'll continue the recording when I get back, okay? Actually, would you believe me if I said that this was all planned? Probably not, but it ends up being quite handy for... As we did send a man down here, well, Laurentius left for search of Quailana, and what could this be? Do you see a pyromancer in the distance? Oh. Let's try and go say hi to him. Just careful with the mosquitoes. Oh, there he is. Well, why does he seem to attack us? As you can tell by his face, he's gone hollow. Completely so, unlike us. Seems like they didn't find the great fireball, as that is a normal one indeed. And there was a strange chuck. He's chuking me. And that's the end of Laurentius. He came to the swamp, he sought the pyromancy. He became hollow. Why? Was he denied? Let's go see if... I don't... Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I want to play Oblivious, but... You know. I'm not. We'll try to see if her teacher has anything to say to this, or our teacher, rather. Ah, Hello. There you are. I was expecting you. The Witch of Isolith. Please, do not speak of her. I abandoned my mother and sisters, and fled to this land. Now I roam these parts, feigning ablution, and pretending to seek answers. Hmm. 
a sad soul. But Laurentius. Laurentius is the art of invoke, but remember one thing: I would have no luck. No clue. Well, but do not. No clue. But he went hollow here. That's that's a sad, sad thing. We. I was. Well, it's easy to say I was starting to like this guy, but I really liked him, man. I'll catch you when I'm back to filing. And here we are, back again. Let's let's try this again. And it seems like Petrus has made his return to Firelink for reason or another. Actually, yeah, there we go. I'm just checking the timer. We're doing fine. Uh, What's wrong, man? Oh, what happened while I was away? Dead? Me? Uh, I've become separated from my lady. I've scoured near and far, but no sight of her. Where could she have gone? My lady. To think I swore to protect you with my life. That's strange. He seems really distressed. Your Highness, where have you gone? I am entirely to blame for this. Oh, woe is me. I am unworthy. Deathly so. Poor guy. Does he have anything more to share? Oh, I'm sorry. Miracles, was it? Sometimes I lose myself. Pay me no mind. Nope. Nothing here. Well, apparently Ray and the two knights are no longer with him. They were searching. Oh, let's hope this goes a bit more smoothly this time, as I have not rested at a bonfire. <laughs> Suspense. Oh no. You see my character doing a little stutter there as he was falling through something. Seems to be the dangers of the 60 frames per second mod again. Back to Parish and towards Andre's crib. The wolf ring protected us with that because we didn't stagger. So yeah, strange, strange things happening to all the NPCs. The crestfallen warrior, upset at the appearance of Frampt, Petrus, taken away from his companions, and then poor Laurentius. I will not forget him. Let us hope Siegmar made it further down, because he was, as we saw way earlier on, waiting for someone to open the gates. But you! You're going to give me my weapon of dreams! My, that's a rare ember you have there. I've seen one of those before. It's the ember of a divine blacksmith. Might you consider leaving that with me? I could produce divine weapons with a flame such as that. He's talking about the divine ember we found by the tower near the moonlight butterfly. So yeah, let's... Well, thanks for that. You've made a fine decision. You soon shall see. Sadly, we have no need for divine weapons. And yeah, I'm going to pump this sucker up. Swayander. Just doing these quick things. I think I'll, yeah, I'll need a few more. It is my weapon of choice, definitely. And now we modify it above plus five. There we go. And now it'll be better than our longsword. <laughs> We're two large shots away from taking it to plus ten. Works just fine for me. Let's, yeah, let's repair some of this stuff. Not all of it, no. Don't get yourself killed. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. Yeah, we've had way too much of that lately. Huh? Strange episode, cause death all around and fuck ups. But I don't mind. Gives me stuff to edit. Oh, we need heaps of souls to upgrade now. So yeah, onward we go. For the next episode, I might have to do something for these frame drops, cause I do believe. I dropped quite a bit of frames there on the elevator. What could this be? Sense Fortress, like Frampt said, and 
as he warned. It's very much a trapped place. And already we find quite daunting foes. Luckily I have my weapon of choice. Oh, I forgot to parry there. Serpent man. How cool is that? I think we'll get the sense fortress started on this episode. Granted, all this uh, back and forth here and there kind of messed up my schedule. And this is why it gains the nickname Sense Funhouse by some players. You have swinging pendulums, snake enemies on the bridge, snake enemies on the bridge above. There are many threats here. Do get hit by the pendulum? Yeah, this is actually my favorite setup as far as character goes. And strange knightly statues and a lightning bolt to the back. Spook me a little. We block that one finally. Easily flattened. They aren't too tough. It's just the positions they're in and stuff. And another trap. These knightly statues, if you've seen the intro for the game, which I, damn, I should have sh shown it to you when I started it, this series. These are suits for the Knight of, uh, Knights of Gwyn. In here I think I'll employ a little bit of a, not a glitch really, but an unintentional little gimmick. Come on guy. Hit me real hard. Real hard. There we go. This wall breaks. But it doesn't break with... Well, it shouldn't break with this guy's wings. It should be breakable later on. And let us see what we can find here. A strange looking fellow. This is where the master key can come in. If you have it, you can rescue him now. Can you open this too? Seemingly you can. What's the message here? <laughs> Soul of Hero. Those are big. But let's give a chat to this guy here. Hmm. You seem quite easy. A rare thing in these times. I am Logan. I'm a bit cooped up, as you can see. I have a bright idea. Suppose you set me free. I'm old and empty-handed, but I could repay you with knowledge and sorcery. This place is not in my mind. The inactivity is repressive. Oh, this big hat Logan. Griggs of Venheim's teacher. We'll free him with the master key, because regardless of whether we use it, use that or the intentional key, we will be able to do it. Oh, heavens! Thank you! I'm saved, and I'd love to resume my travels, but I must log a few things first, and I owe you a favor. I will return to Farling Shrine. Speak with me there, so that I may impart my sorcery. Of course, that'll work. Anything, anything else? Oh, hello. Don't mind me, go on ahead. I'll be along later. Whoa, I'll be just fine, young man. He seems capable, and... Gregs did speak quite highly of him. So maybe he really is the master of sorcery. I do like his eccentric big head. Oh, hello there, snake. Bye. Will he get rolled by the rock? Oh, he will. Look at him blocking there. See ya. 
Here we have more snake men. The strong attack is very useful in dealing with them. Allows you to kind of engage them from further away. And here we have our friend, Ziegmeier. See, we ma he made it in, but what's up? Mmm. 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 Oh ho! Ah! Where did you come from? Splendid news, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. Mm. Ah, so you see my plight. Yes, indeed. I've run up against a wall, or a ball, to be precise. I'm afraid I'm a bit too tough to be out running those things. So here I sit in quite a pickle, but who knows? Perhaps we'll have another development. <laughs> Does he have any ideas as how to tackle this? Perhaps I could try some rolling. Ah, no job. My head would spin. Hmm. 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 I mean, as mean as it might be, and don't tell him I said this, but I think we're a bit more capable than him. Oh god, I ran too. Yeah, you can outrun them. This is them sorcerer again. Or one of them rather. Oh, not quite killed by a running attack. Let me in. And in here, another strange room with these suits of armor on the molds. And a ring of steel protection. Night King Rendell. It grants its wearer protection by boosting defense against physical attacks. One of the, ma of the many legends surrounding the Night King Rendell, one of the more well-known, speaks of his standing down a giant drake and slashing it to pieces. And if m your memory serves you, from the Baldur armor pieces we find out that Rendell was their king. There it is. A shuttle. Shuttle, shuttle. Created by Aster, Earl, Earl of Karim, requires great skill to wield, but evades shield defense to sneak in damage. Indeed, if you're playing against players, then this can be particularly useful, because all the attacks, they do a notable amount of uh, damage, even through blocking. Makes it quite handy. And I think we'll see Ziegmeier in a while. He doesn't know it, but yeah, we did open the gates for this on this place for him. So let's see if we can take help him out in this pickle as well. Run through the fog gate. Doesn't signify a loss. No. And here we see an elevator for the next area. And in here, if you've been cautious in advance in this place before, yeah, you're expecting these floor traps now, so you can trigger it and run away, but oh, there's someone there. Okay, maybe we'll activate it after attack on this guy. That's the jumping attack. Let's give him another. There we go. So yeah, take it easy and slow and we'll manage out of this place just fine. There is a little shortcut you can take here. Th this is actually, yeah, where the boulders fall as well. You can run up. Oh, <laughs> get dunked! You can run all the way up to the right and actually disable the mechanism from shooting boulders down. But we'll take the intended route and go down with them. An item up there, which we will miss for now. Just stay quick, and we'll do fine. And in here, not much really, just a hole, but surely it's here for a reason. It seems like all the boulders fall here, into this little chute down here, and as you can see it's actually stacking up, so let us wait for a minute, or a second rather.
Indeed, we're getting real close. What could happen then? Does it reload them? Well, no, not really. One more should do it, and this will be the route we'll take forward. But for now, let's examine this. Here comes the lasso. Well, besides from knocking me down the corridor, it opens up a way here. And what happens in here? The boulders fall down to outside. And here we find a covetous silver. Blah, blah, blah. That's Mac. That concludes this episode. Catch me later on <laughs> for some more Dark Souls. This playthrough is certainly going places, isn't it? So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.